It's just days before the opening of the Tokyo Olympics and a growing number of athletes and officials have tested COVID positive or been forced to self-isolate. In the Olympic Village, two players and a coach for the South Africa men's football team have the virus. And six Team GB athletes and two staff members are also isolating at their training camp after a person tested positive on their flight to Japan. Despite the worsening COVID situation in the city and widespread public opposition to the Games, the governor of Tokyo has told the BBC it would have been worse to cancel. From Tokyo, Rupert Wingfield Hayes reports. With five days to go, the anti-Olympic protests are not going away. This one is outside the hotel where IOC President Thomas Bach is staying. Their message to him is pretty blunt. Over at the Olympic Village, Three COVID cases have now been confirmed. Across the city, 1,400 new cases on Saturday. Despite this, when I sat down with the governor of Tokyo, she told me the games must go ahead. I believe that not holding the Olympics is even sadder than holding it during these dire times. I do not want to show the world that we have lost the COVID-19. There is still meaning in holding the Olympics in Tokyo, despite the current situation. This was Wembley Stadium in London a week ago. But with just 20% of Japanese vaccinated, there will be no scenes like this in Tokyo's Olympic Stadium. Governor Koike concedes if Japan had moved faster on vaccines, things might have been different. I agree. It would have been better. If we had a faster vaccination rollout, we may have been able to have spectators at the Olympics. But the speed of vaccine rollout has now increased immensely. Not fast enough. This is Kyoto, Japan's ancient capital and number one tourist site. By now, this place should have been thronged with hordes of tourists from all over the world. For Japan, that was to be the big payoff. Invest billions and billions in hosting the Olympics. And then millions of travelers will come from all over the world to your great cultural institutions, spending lots of money. As you can see, there's nobody here. Shop owners here have seen sales fall by more than 90%. It is the government's fault. Look at the other countries like the UK and Taiwan. They seem to be doing well. But look at Japan. I cannot believe we call ourselves a developed country. Back in Tokyo, hundreds of athletes are now arriving each day. It's now clear that some of them will be carrying COVID. The IOC's assertion that the Games represent zero risk to public health is already starting to look flimsy. Rupert Wingfield-Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.